Hey, Hudson Knight here. If you're like me, you've got a car stereo that is dated. It doesn't have an auxiliary port. It doesn't have Bluetooth. So how can you play music from your phone uh, in a car like this? Well, there's an easy solution. Product that I found on Amazon. It's the Emden Wireless Hands-Free Car Kit the C57, and this is about $20 on Amazon. I've got a link in the description if you want to check it out. Looks like it uses Bluetooth 5.0, uh, and you can check out some of the details here on the box. I'm going to show you how to get this set up in your car and a couple thoughts on my use of it, though it's been brief as I just installed it today. Uh, but let me show you how to set it up. Here's the unit. Um, pretty small unit, and it's got two USB ports on it. The one on the right is a uh, is a charger, uh, and so you can keep your phone charged. The left is a USB port that would accommodate a 64 gigabyte USB uh, stick that you could play uh, downloaded higher quality music on, legal music, of course. Then you've got the the rest of the unit, obviously, that plugs in. And one more thing here. On the side are your controls. You've got this phone symbol, and that's going to enable you to start and stop the music. The buttons on the side are for uh, volume, if you push in and hold them. or And it's also for helping to tune this to the proper radio station, which I'll show you how to do in just a minute. And there's also some call features, because you can make calls through this on your phone. You can answer and hang up uh, with this using this button. Uh, you can also hold it when there's a call coming in to reject the call and a couple of other ways that you can control your calls. So it's a nice small little unit. Let's uh, see how we can set it up. So here you can see I've got my uh, older stereo unit here in my car. And uh, so what we want to do is the first thing you want to do is get it to a radio station that's not in use. I recommend doing something way down at the low part of the dial or the high part of the dial where there generally isn't uh, radio stations. And so I'm going to turn mine on. I've already got mine tuned down to 88.3. As you can see, you can hear the static. So I'm going to set this up for the first time. Uh, my port is kind of in a weird place. It's under this flap down here. Your uh, cigarette port could be anywhere uh, in the front or somewhere in your center console. So let me plug this in. And so you can see mine went quiet because I already had this set up. And it made a noise saying that it was it's pairing, the Bluetooth is pairing. Um, one cool thing about this, I don't know if you can see it, but there is a number that says 11.9, is what it does is it, it shows you the voltage of your battery the first few seconds that you plug it in. So that's kind of a handy feature to know if your battery is properly charged or not. So once you have it tuned to the right radio station, and the way you do that, press and hold that call button on here and then it'll go to okay so you'll see the 88.3 flashing we can adjust that with the uh those arrows okay there's 88.1 i want to get it to 88.3 so there are two three and that matches up with my radio so now don't hear any background noise which is good so that's that's step one is you want to get them synced between each other the radio and the the actual um device there. Next, we want to connect it to our phone. I've got an older iPhone 8 Plus. I'm recording with my newer iPhone 13. And so what you want to do is make sure your Bluetooth is on. Go into Bluetooth settings and it will be down here. It's going to be called C57 and the same number that's on the box there. So let's tap and connect to that. And it just told me that it's paired. As you can see, C57 is connected. Okay, so I've pulled up one of my newer YouTube videos that I've done. Um, I wanna play something that I have created so that I don't get into copyright issues. One thing you wanna do is make sure that the volume is all the way up on your phone, and then you wanna make sure that your volume on your, your radio, your car stereo, is, is at a, a lower level to begin with, just so you don't get blasted out. And so let's go ahead and 
play this and see how it sounds. Whirlpool side by side refrigerator. My refrigerator is about three years old. So I'll put the exact model down. In the so you can hear that it, so you can it sounds really good. Here. So let's see how to use these controls. So it's so very clear, for my Whirlpool side no by static side or anything. We'll go through these so Whirlpool it plays really well. You're not going to get CD quality music uh, playing through here. I did connect it to my Apple Music and play through, and I felt like there's there's good bass, but the midtones and the treble were a bit lacking. But again, it could be the limitations of my own stereo system. So let me know in the comments below if you have this or if you end up getting it. Come back and tell me what you think and how it sounds uh, for your unit. I'm not exactly sure why it's flashing my my battery voltage. Uh, if you know why, let me know in the comments below, or maybe it, it says in the instructions and I didn't, I kind of glossed that over. Anyway, it works fine. A couple other things to realize on this is if you have it uh, connected to your uh, music app, or I had it connected to YouTube, and if you press this button uh, once, it will uh, advance to the next video or to the next song. If you stop the music on your phone, this pushing this button once will start it back up again. And like I said, uh, these side buttons, these side arrow buttons will control the volume as long as you push and hold them in. Looks like it, mine goes up to 31. Let me know in the comments below if you see something any different. But that's my review of the Emden wireless hands-free car kit. And so I think it's a great product, a great solution for cars that don't have the auxiliary ports or the Bluetooth, and you don't want to spend hundreds of dollars to upgrade your, your radio uh, to something that can accommodate Bluetooth um, or Apple Play, Google Play, those features. Um, but there is a downside to this. Uh, the quality of the music uh, streaming through this device is going to be downgraded some going through a radio station. So that's you're going to lose uh, some quality. Uh, but it still sounds really good to me. Works for us and uh, simple to use. Um, I have not used the call feature. If you've used the call feature, please let me know in the comments below what you thought of it. So that's the setup of the Emden Wireless Car Kit. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or any else that you know about this uh, unit that I haven't mentioned. Links in the description if you want to check this out on Amazon. Give this video a like so that YouTube will share it out so that others can benefit from this and consider subscribing to my channel for more reviews like this and tips on a variety of subjects and I'll see you in the next video.